What is happening everyone? Welcome back to my channel. In this video I'll be talking about my top 10 favourite street food vendors here in Adelaide. As you know, I am a huge fan of the Adelaide street food scene. It has grown so much over the past few years and it is still continuing to grow. If you've been a fan of my videos before, you've noticed I've done the top 10 food trucks video. That video is now a bit out of date because some of those vendors aren't around anymore, so I'm just giving you a new updated list. Plus, in this video, I am going to include all street food vendors that don't exactly have a food truck itself. This list is in no particular order. Let's get this list started. Starting off with the old school bus. Right, this is one of my personal favourite street food vendors here in Adelaide. I just absolutely love this idea of a food truck. I just love how they've turned this old bus and converted it into this mobile restaurant where the back of it has got the kitchen and the serving area and then towards the front it's got a little dining area as well we can sit in. This bus has a little bit of a nostalgic vibe about it, it's got little 90s references across the wall and it just looks like an old bus you used to catch to school each day in the morning. They have some of their most common dishes which are the cheeseburger jaffle and the, and the schoolyard bully and plus from time to time they'll introduce a few new items as well. Now these guys, Humpty Dumplings, I just love their dumplings. The second I heard about these people entering the street food scene, I just had to try it. And in fact, they were actually one of the first vendors to actually use the tester truck where street food vendors get to put their product into a food truck and enter the food truck scene. My personal favorite dish from the Humpty Dumplings is their Luxa Dunk Dumplings. Like, oh my God, they are absolutely delicious. They're pan fried pork dumplings soaking in a laksa sauce and as you bite down it is just so flavoursome, it's just so juicy. Damn, I'm getting hungry now thinking about this. <laughs> Next up is Moyan. I got introduced these guys about early this year at the Ebenezer Night Market and I just absolutely love their street food. They are commonly seen at the Ebenezer Night Market, Gillis at the Ground and other events around Adelaide. And also their menu does change during the seasons. During the winter they'll bring out the far, and during the summer season they'll bring the Bunziao. Now this food vendor has just grown in popularity over the years. With their delicious pork ribs, mouth-watering chicken, and their Instagram-worthy ube ice cream. They normally do food catering. Be sure to check them out when you see them in public. Usually I would recommend one particular item that they specialize but honestly they're all good like be sure to follow them on social media so you know where they're up to next next up bow plus oh, i came across these guys a couple of months back and i noticed there was a huge lineup you know there's something there's got to be something good about it so i was curious got to try them out what i would recommend trying them out is trying their bowels as well they do some serve some good dumplings as well and occasionally you might find a few dessert items at their vendor too Bao also has a restaurant in the Adelaide CBD called Astonish Patisserie. You will find some of the most amazing creative desserts in that restaurant. As well as checking out their street food vendor, see their restaurant on King William Road as well. Next on this list is Suki La La. I remember when I first entered the food truck scene and I just fell in love with their food from the start. The owners come from a Southeast Asian background and they bring on flavors from their part of the world. I can recommend anything from here. I'll try the crispy chicken with the paya salad and rice. Next up, Tiki Taco. This is one of the new food trucks that's entered the street food scene, specializing in Mexican food like nachos, conchas, and of course, tacos. I would personally recommend getting the nachos with the cheese sauce. The second you smell that cheese sauce hitting you, you will be drooling. Next up, Tasha's Truck Waffles. This new food truck entered the street food scene early this year and it is still continuing to grow every day. They serve a variety of desserts from Belgian waffles, apple pies and their signature dish, strap waffles. These are some of the tastiest, sweetest and gooey desserts you can get here in Adelaide. Nothing better than getting their signature strap waffle, snapping it in half and just watching that little caramel just ooze out. All right, next on this list is Clucking Delicious. I just love their name and I absolutely love their chicken. They have a very simple menu where they just serve uh, chicken tenders with chips and some chicken burgers. And they've just introduced chicken nuggets as well. I really enjoy their chicken tenders. You know, it's, it's southern fried chicken, not too oily or greasy. Packs with so much flavor in it. It's got that nice crispy exterior and once you bite down, you get that really soft, juicy, tender chicken on the inside. 
And as always, if you've been watching all of my videos, I always finish with one item, and that's some bubble tea from Bubble Bus. They have plenty of flavors to choose from. You can pick the milky tea or fruit tea, jellies or popping boba. Your choice, however you want it. It's just the best refreshing drink to finish off any food adventure. Now that finishes my top 10 street food vendors here in Adelaide. Honestly, I could go on forever about all the street food vendors here. I wish I could mention all of them in one video, but might save that for another time. Well, let me know, do you disagree or agree with some of my picks? As well, if you still got any recommendations of any other street food vendors I should try out, let me know in the comments section down below too. Now let's end it there. Happy eating, take care of yourselves. Munch out.